Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Let us study English. Uh, today we are going to study 20 new words uh, with the story Catch and Secret. Catch and Secret. The first word we are going to study is above. Above has two syllables, a, uh, b, o, v, e, accent of the second syllable, above. And this one sounds like uh, above, above is a preposition. If something is above, it is at a higher level than something else. He straightened the sign that was above the crowd. Above. And next one, a uh, hat. A uh, hat has two syllables, a, uh, h, e, a, d, accent on the second syllable. And first one sounds like a, a head. A head is an adverb. If something is ahead of something else, it is in front of it. The blue car drove on ahead of us. Ahead. The next one, a mount. A mount has two syllables, a, m, o, u, n, t. Accent on the second syllable, amount. Amount is a noun. An amount is how much there is of something. Can I use my car to pay for the entire amount? Amount. And next one, belief. Belief has two syllables, B E L I E F. Accent on the second syllable, belief. Belief is a noun. A belief is a strong feeling that something is correct or true. Belief. A preacher or priest should have a strong belief in God. Belief. Next one, center, or you can say center. Center or center has two syllables, C, E, N, T E R X on the first syllable. And then this T flaps because of this N. It sounds like N, so it becomes sen, ner, and then there are two Ns. You cancel the second one. You say center. 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 The center of something is the middle of it. The center of a dartboard is the most important spot. Center. Next one, common. Common. Common has two syllables, C O M M O N, and there are two M's. Cancel the first M, and accent on the first syllable. It sounds like A, ah, Ka. Common. Common is an adjective. If something is common, it happens often or there is much of it. It is common for snow to fall in the winter. Common. Common. Next one, cost. Cost is a verb. To cost is to require expenditure or payment. These designer shoes cost more than the regular ones. Cost. The next one, dem on straight. Demonstrate has three syllables, D, E, M, O, N, S, T, R, A, T, E, action on the first syllable, dem, demonstrate. Demonstrate is a verb. To demonstrate something is to show how it is done. She demonstrated her plan to her co-workers. Demonstrate. Next one, different. Different. Different has three syllables, D, I, F, F, E, R, E, N, T. And there are two Fs, so uh, cancel the second F, say, accent on the first syllable, differ, different. Different is an adjective. Different describes someone or something that is not the same as others. Each of my sisters has a different hairstyle from one another. Different. And next one, evidence. 
evidence has three syllables, E, V, I, D, E, N, C, E. X on the first syllable, F. And then this E sounds like a, ever, evidence. Evidence is a noun. Evidence is a fact or thing that you use to prove something. He used the pictures as evidence that UFOs are real. Evidence. Evidence. The next one, honesty. Honesty has three syllables. H-O-N-E-S-T-Y. Excellent. The first syllable and H is silent. Anna, honesty. Honesty is a noun. Honesty means the equality of being truthful or honest. A courtroom should be a place of honesty. Honesty. Next one, id, e, um. Idiom has three syllables. I, D, I, O, M. Excellent. The first syllable, it, e, um. Idiom. Idiom is a noun. An idiom is a phrase with the meaning different from its words. The idiom when pigs fly means that something will never happen. Idiom. The next one, independent. Independent has four syllables. I-N, D-E, P-E-N, D-E-N-T. Excellent. The third syllable, independent. Independent. Independent is an adjective. If something is independent, it is not controlled by something else. She chose to live an independent life in the country. Independent. And next one, inside. Inside has two syllables, I-N-S-I-D-E. Excellent. The second syllable, inside. Inside is a noun. Inside means the inner part, space, or side of something. Inside. The inside of the box was empty. Inside. Next one, master. Master has two syllables, M-A-S-T-E-R. Excellent, the first syllable, master. Master is a noun. A master is a person who is very good at something. My brother is a master of Taekwondo. Master. The next one, memory. Memory has three syllables, M, E, M, O, R, and then Y. Excellent, the first syllable, mem. Memor. Memory. Memory is a noun. A memory is something you remember. The memory of my first time in the city will always be the best. Memory. The next one, proper. Proper has two syllables, P-R-O, I'm sorry, P-R-O, P-E-R. Actually, on the first syllable, and then all sounds like a uh, proper. Proper is an adjective. If something is proper, it is right. It is not proper to throw your garbage on the road. Proper. And next one, scan. Scan is a verb. To scan something is to look at it very carefully. You must scan each person closely. Scan. Okay, the next one is section. Section has two syllables, S-E-C. T I O N, accent on the first syllable, section. Section is a noun. A section is a part of something larger. The green section of the graph is the most important part. Section. And then the, the last one, surface. Surface has two syllables, S U R F A C E. Please be careful. Don't read this face. You read this. Surface. Surface. Action on the first syllable. Surface. Surface is a noun. The surface of something is the top part of or outside of it. The surface of the moon is very rough. Surface.
Now, choose the right definition for the given word. Section. Higher. The top layer. Apart. To look at. Answer is C. Apart. Number two. Inside. In front. The inner part. Proof. Someone very good at something. B. The inner part. Number three. Proper. A strong feeling. To treat the same. Correct. In the middle. Answer is C. Correct. Number four. Different. Not influenced. Not the same. To show how to do. A phrase with a different meaning. Different. Okay, B. Not the same. Number five. Memory. A bag in clothes. A normal thing. How much money? Something you remember? Answer is D. The next word is idiom. Higher. A meaning different from each word. Facts that prove something. To look carefully. The answer is B. A meaning different from each word. And number seven, amount. How much there is? A part of something larger. To treat the same, the right thing to do. Answer is A, how much there is. Number eight, honesty. The top of something, to learn about something, in front of something, the quality of being truthful. So answer is D, the quality of being truthful. Number nine, master. A way of acting. Someone who is very good at something. To show how to do something. A feeling that something is correct or true. The answer is B, someone who is very good at something. Number 10, scan. To give something to someone. To look carefully at something, something that happens a lot, something you remember. Answer is B, to look carefully at something. Now check the better response to each question. Is his picture above mine? Yes, it is much lower than yours. Yes, it is much higher than yours. Above? B. Yes, it is much higher than yours. Should we go straight ahead to get to your house? No, we must turn left. No, it is in front of us. Answer is A. No, we must turn left. Is this the correct amount? No, you must pay more money. No, that is the wrong answer. Answer is A. No, you must pay more money. Number four, what is your belief about ghosts? I think they are real. There are many movies about ghosts. So the answer is going to be A, it's your opinion. So you say, I think they are real. Number five, did he put the table in the center of the room, in the center of the room? Yes, it is against the wall. Yes, it is right in the middle. Center means middle, so answer is B. Number six, is lightning common here? No, it happens all the time. No, it never happens here. So common means it happens often, but it happens all the time. No, it never uh, happens here. So if you say yes, so B is the answer. Number seven, can you demonstrate how to solve the problem? Yes, I can show you. No, I know how to do it. Answer is going to be A. Yes, I can show you. Number eight, do you have evidence to prove it? Yes, I have a news article. Yes, I think that I'm a nice person. Evidence to prove it. So number uh, eight is going to be A. Yes. I have a news article. That's the evidence. Number nine. 
How much did you uh, did your shirt cost? It was on sale for fifteen dollars. I bought it at the mall last week. How much? So you have to say the price. It it was on sale for fifteen dollars. Will he be an uh, independent leader? Yes, he always does what other people do. Yes, he makes his own decisions. That's independence. So the answer is B. Now, based on the words you have studied, let's read the story. Cat and sacred. In English, there is a common idiom, let the cat out of the bag. It means to tell a secret. But where did this idiom start? It came from a section of England. Long ago, people there went from town to town to sell things like vegetables, clothes, and pigs. They had strong beliefs about honesty. They didn't like lying. One day, a man went to the section's center to sell things. I have a baby pig for sale. It won't cost too much, he said. He held the animal above his head. His style was different from honest people's style. He was a master of tricking people and lying. A woman named Beth scanned his pig. He offered her a pig for one gold coin. That was a very small amount. Beth gave him the coin. He put it in his pocket. He walked ahead of Beth to get the pig. He gave her a close to bag and said, Here is your pig. He then left very quickly. Beth looked at the back surface. It was moving. She opened it to let the pig out. A cat was inside. He tricked me. That isn't proper, she said. Later, the man returned to trick more people. Beth saw him and the memory of the cat came back. She told her friends. They stopped him, but no one knew what to do next. Someone said, we need an independent and fair person to decide. That. They went to the judge. Beth told him about the cat in the back. The judge asked, is there evidence? Can you demonstrate how he did it? Look in his back, said Beth. She opened it and let a cat out of the bag. They learned the man's secret, and he went to jail. There is how the idiom, let the cat out of the bag, came to mean to tell a secret. Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another words and another story as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English, and have a great day. Bye.